Both genetic risk factors and the environment play a critical role in the development of asthma and allergies. Epidemiologic studies show that fewer children raised on traditional dairy farms have asthma. Frequent exposure to farm animals and the associated microbiomes are believed to be protective against the development of asthma. The Amish and Hutterite populations in the United States share a common Central European ancestry and both live in farming communities. Yet the prevalence of childhood asthma is four times as high among the Hutterites. Can differences in farming techniques and exposure to farm animals explain the difference in rates of asthma? In a cross-sectional study, investigators assessed 60 sex and age-matched Amish and Hutterite children, 7 to 14 years old in 2012, to determine the impact of environmental exposures on asthma immune responses. The investigators obtained information on asthma symptoms and genetic and laboratory data, and sampled dust from the homes of the subjects. Dust was analyzed for endotoxin and allergen levels and the microbiome, and blood was analyzed for signs of activation of innate or adaptive immunity. None of the Amish children and 20% of the Hutterite children had asthma despite remarkable genetic similarities, according to an analysis of genomic DNA markers. Hutterite children had three times the level of total serum IgE, and a higher percentage of Hutterite children had high levels of specific IgE against common allergens. Although endotoxins were found in all homes, the median endotoxin level was nearly seven times as high in Amish homes. Analysis of blood samples and experiments in mice provided data to implicate greater activation of the innate immune response in the Amish than in the Hutterites. The authors suggest that the Amish environment reduces the risk of asthma by engaging and shaping the innate immune response. Full study results are available at NEJM.org.